There will be no wand waving or silly incantations during this gameplay. I have heard of this game known as Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I do not know how Mr. Potter was able to get his own franchise of games. However, we will be playing this game for your amusement. Let's begin. Oh dear. It appears we'll be starting at the burrow. The try is so hard to frame it nicely, however. It's not much, but it's home. Flipendo, the I'm trying to flipendo the gnomes, Mr. Weasley. Ah, uh, both in one. Another goal for Slytherin! Pop, pop! And chuck him out of the garden. I feel like there could be easier ways to do this. If it was so easy for them to get in the rafters of your barn, they can get over a wall. That was rubbish! I don't see you trying at all, Ronald. Throw well. How thick could you get? They seem to relish the gnome infestation and make games of it. If it were me, I would have brewed up a poison long ago. A disgusting task. Harry was the only one she wasn't mad at, so why on earth is he the only one doing this? Where on earth has Potter ended up? <laughs> Apparently we now need to sneak out of Borgen and Burks. Of course, Mr. Potter would be one to go and find himself trespassing. Now he is stealing. Good day, Mr. Snooping in on conversations, and now are uh, we Potter? The book they were looking at. Well, why not use it ourselves, Mr. Potter? Only adding to his crimes, stealing a book, breaking, and exiting. Now are we Mr. Potter? What vile things do we need to face now? They have a whole setup here just to try and defeat the great Harry Potter. Why is Potter attacking that vase when the pixie is so clearly visible? I don't know. Ah, uh, you're about to die here, it seems so. Oh, dear. I'm afraid we feel you've rather lost your touch. Yes, well, Mr. Potter's mischievous adventures were vast and intolerable. Why he was not brought to justice sooner, I do not know. It appears Potter's even climbing over obstacles to get deeper into this property he is vandalizing. On to the next stage of his misadventure. Able to call his vermin from the sky. Surely to send a message to the Weasleys to come and pick him up. I am sure. Sending a message for help. I am sure. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. Hedwig has some power. It would seem clearly an embellishment of Potter's. Harry Potter and the vandalism of the vase shop. It definitely sounds plausible and more accurate. We need to sneak by now. Of course, Mr. Potter would find himself sneaking around in a dark alley. I'm not sure what this is achieving. Ah. Harry was able to climb all over the inside of that shop, yet needs to squeeze through this gap and can't climb over. How bizarre. Locked. A shame to be sure, however, this box is looking extraordinarily suspicious. There we go. And a little more thievery from Mr. Potter. I believe Harry actually was meant to have met 
haggard by it now, however. That seems to not be the case, embellishing his story again, making it seem as if he got out of Nocturne Alley all on his own. Harry himself has just got back from his antics in Nocturne Alley, and they send him on another errand. Well, I'm glad we found out the Weasleys were frantically searching for Mr. Potter while he was lost to them. Eight sickles, and we only have one. How unfortunate. I can't it. No, no, you can't. Close, he says. Well, that just means we can steal from him, according to Mr. Potter. I've been having a bit of trouble lately with flesh eating slugs. Or well, maybe if you went to Nocturne Alley and bought their repellent, you would be able to solve that issue. Don't forget to buy your standard book of spells from Flourish and Blots, Harry. That would be fantastic if I have more than one sickle, Miss Weasley. Maybe they will just give it to me, the great Harry Potter. One sickle. I'd like to buy that, please. Must be on special offer. I knew your father, you know. A fine wizard and a genuine loss. I have no idea who that is, Mr. Potter. You might want to get out of there. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my spell tape. So I think that oh. must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Of course, where he always resides. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. I'm sure Harry will be extremely honourable and just ask the shop owners nicely. The Leaky Cauldron Cellar is a great place to explore, Mr. Potter. Ah, uh, yes, but will you not be giving us Ginny's scales back? No. We seem to have unlocked the strength to start vandalising again. How brilliant. What kind of system? This is how much beer. Butterbeer Hagrid is drinking. They need to send the barrels through like this. He should not be working around children. He is a disgrace. Where on earth do we need to go? Ah. Easy enough for the great Harry Potter. More beans. I'm sure these barrels were not important, Mr. Potter. Don't worry yourself about it. Push it over there, of course, Mr. Potter doing obstacles again. Pushing a crate, probably thrice his weight with relative ease. Embellishing his story more and more as we proceed. Another secret passage, well, not so secret, is it? Quality Quidditch supplies, well, closed. It appears the Weasleys didn't pick the opportune time to go shopping. I'm feeding the stock. Keep out. Feeding the stock? Well, Mr. Potter doesn't care about that now, does he? And destroy the other one for good measure. You never know when you might find a sickle. Breaking and entering again, Mr. Potter. Didn't you hear me, boy? I said we're close And to captured. Away and sent away where I can just keep quiet well then maybe stop saying that to yourself Mr. Potter fortunately I have managed to evade this wizard once again Mr. Potter proving himself extraordinarily capable of breaking in to others property folio magi t tilly took I didn't know you could read Gained Order of Merlin first class for saving the lives of non-magical tourists when a dragon swooped down on a beach full of sunbathers. Odd how that doesn't happen more. Muggles find themselves everywhere. How much are stink pellets? Four, six, stink pellets. Might as well buy some of those. It sounds very up Mr. Potter's alley. Up Mr. Potter's diagonal alley. 
No. I have great pleasure in announcing that this turn I will be taking up the post of defense against the dark arts. Well, aren't we all in for a treat then? One of the finest defense against the dark arts teachers ever. Harry, we've missed the train. I believe the more exposure I got in the They missed the train. It seems Ginny only just walked out. How on earth? I don't believe this is exactly how this happened. Potter just didn't go for the train, well. Poor Dobby, taken out of the story altogether. I remember this bit quite well. You were seen by no less than five muggles. Ron leaving Harry to clean up his mess again. How uncool. It's a shame I wish I was back in Nocturne Alley already. This place is not fit to be on school grounds. Don't go running into the gas again, Mr. Potter. We've already learnt that lesson. We don't want to have to learn it again. Seem not to be able to harm them at all. I've lost my only bean. What a shame. Just run into them, why don't I? Why on earth can't I affect these? creatures. Mr. Potter's abilities clearly aren't as good as he would like to think. I should just let them hit me one more time and get it over with. Maybe then all would have been well if Potter died here. Voldemort wouldn't have been able to use his blood. Ah. There we go. Uh, and a perfect Potter crawl space, of course. Imagine if an adult was stuck here. They'd be ruined. Right. Try- ah. Uh, sadly, they've got me this time. I've got quite a advantage hanging up here. A nice bit of high ground that uh, famous wizard Obi-Wan Kenobi would be extremely impressed, I'm sure. Excellent work, Potter. Almost worthy of some points if you didn't get yourself into this mess yourself. Annoying gap. There we go. Finally. That took far longer than Potter would care to admit, nor would I. Right, well that wasn't where we had to go. That was just all that for a measly wizard card or whatever it was we got. Uh, but a perfectly Harry-sized hole, yes, of course. Imagine if there was one of those fungus things on the other side. He'd be stuck. Hilarious, Mr. Weasley, using Ron as a shield. Clever, clever indeed. A boulder. Of course, in Potter's depiction of his life, he would survive a hit from a boulder, wouldn't he? Fantastic. Finally... Defeated it. Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, and I believe this is the part where I come in. So well, maybe he's waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the Hogwarts Express. Not sure that's exactly how I sound, to be honest. Not too sure about this depiction, to be honest with you. Almost a sort of vague, dead behind the eyes look. They should have more than house points deducted for antics like this, but unfortunately Professor McGonagall came in and saved them. A shame. Harry! 
Alright, we need to shut run up, so we best proceed. Oh, the ghost. Uh, ah, yes. Well, uh, that can sometimes happen. Killed by a ghost. The great Harry Potter. I did not see that coming. Goodbye. Bye, Nick. Yes, bye, Nick. Thank you for your wonderful insight, as always. Run slowly, climbing the stairs. Come on, run. I'll never get to the top of Gryffindor Tower at this rate. This is why it's better to be down in the dungeon. Less stairs. How am I to know that you two aren't Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? A bit more foreshadowing there, well... Just tell us the new password, Hermione. Oh, very well then. It's Wattlebird. Wattlebird. What kind of password is that? I'm told these days we need to use at least one special character. We've been through all this ordeal and now Ron is forcing us to go to a shop. Owen, watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. Maybe he should find somewhere else to study. These Weasleys. Right, all we need to do is go through... Oh, that is not quite... What I had planned. Leave me alone, Harry. Oh. And then he says the password out loud right in front of Percy, who is ah, none the wiser. I can't afford it. Should we just steal it like you steal from everyone else, Mr. Potter? Or do you have a line that is stealing from your friends? Do people not need to use this? But why on earth is there a a secret password needed just to go to the toilet. How do the Gryffindors manage? I believe we just want to end the day. See what other things there are around here to have a look at. Ron standing in the darkness, trying to jump scare students as they come down. Morning, Ron. Do you know what class we've got first? I heard there's flying. Flying, ugh. Who needs to fly when you can learn to apparate? Do I need to talk to this? Is this Neville Longbottom? Gnome dunking, gnome tossing, oh. Gnome, thank you. Oh, shouldn't have said that. Press A to go, well. Oh, these controls are, uh, something to be, hold, yep, that's, oh dear. Right, hold on, hold on. Mr. Potter seems to have lost the ring he's meant to be going through and has now gone through it the wrong way around. Inverted controls. Uh, when you're not expecting that is... Um, right, we'll, we'll just go slowly. S slow as uh, Mr. Potter can handle it. A bit slower than that. There, there, okay. Right. Now for the examination. An exam already? We didn't even finish that course, and they want an exam. But then, I guess it's an accurate depiction of Mr. Potter's flying skills. How many times did he win the Quidditch Cup? Only a couple. It's a moving ring. I'm not able to go through the normal rings, let alone the moving rings. Nicely done. Nicely done, she says. That was nicely done. Degraded a C and could barely fly around. No wonder she lost her job. Gryffindor with 50 points already. Nothing has happened and they're already winning, it would seem. Unless, of course, Slytherin here. Uh, a fantastic show from the Slytherins after the first day. Harry. This time Hermione lurking in the dark. Something dreadful has happened to Neville. He's got himself trapped behind a tapestry. Hopefully I've been given some sort of map. Yes, there we go. That is of absolutely no help. I should have maybe have listened to Hermione Granger, but she's such an insufferable know-it-all. Nearly had Nestle Nick seems to, seem to, seems to loiter in the same place all the time. Well... 
fantastic that added so much to the story. Right, sneaking around again, are we, Potter? Hopefully we can just... I'm surprised that worked. Well, that was much easier than I expected. Let's see what we've got over here. Is this the book we're after? Marauding with monsters, yes. So we need to find our way to... Nobody's guarding this area. Anyone could walk into the school. No wonder Sirius Black found it so easy to get to the Gryffindor Tower. Yes, I'm sure this will not be half as easy as I would like. Some slow and grueling process, I'm afraid. I'm destroying each of these one at a time. Things never seem to be easy, do they? Oh. But then again, that wasn't so bad. Let's learn this spell just like that, Mr. Potter. Again, his gifts astound me. Right, we can finally free Neville from his enclosure and finally get a night's sleep. Come to me. Again, this voice, we all know who this is. Harry embellishing it again, talking to him personally. What was that? Mr. Potter, what on earth? He seems to be planking, I believe, is the term. You would have done well in Slytherin. We wouldn't want him in Slytherin. Imagine that. Harry Potter all the time. Here's Harry skipping through everyone else's parts as quick as possible. So the story can all be back on him. Right, and finally, we can free Longbottom, who I'm sure has been stuck behind that tapestry all this time. How terrible it must be to be Longbottom. Destroying a tapestry that's been probably stood up there since before he was born. How typical of Mr. Potter. And voila. Phew. Thanks, Harry. Right, see if Ron is hiding. No, thankfully not this time. No extra points for Gryffindor, well. That is unfortunate. Yes, yes. And Slytherin still in the... Oh! Well, I... Clearly, someone has been taking points off of my students. Life as a painting isn't so bad, but paintings need their sleep as well. So thank you all and until next time.